I really haven't been awake this early um, lately, even on Harrison Street to actually see the sunrise much. But here, um, <laughs> you wake up early because there's woods and you just hear the birds. And even though you don't know what's going to happen throughout the day, at least hearing the birds chirp is like calming. Um, supposed to get up to 60 today would be nice. Maybe could actually go for a walk in the woods. I don't know. Would like to. It's supposed to be warmer tomorrow. It probably appears yellowish. It's actually um, like a orangish yellow. Really, really pretty. And uh, I thought, well, this is just too pretty to to pass up, you know, not recording. Let me see if I could get that over there. Yeah, there, I think. I hear geese. Geese are coming back. I don't see the V, but I do hear some way over that way somewhere right here. I hear them. And that's always a good sign when you hear. Oh wait, there's some coming over this way I hear. I don't know if I can see anything. I don't know. I hear them though. No, I don't see them, but I do way off in the distance hear them, so that is always a good, a good sign. I'm loving that, that color, just so pretty. And we are taking a walk to the woods which is by our hotel. It stopped drizzling, thankfully. Can't listen to damn weather. There's Ron. Hey the weather said today was going to be 71 and sunny. Well, I mean, they lie. It, no, it is 71, it's just not sunny. It doesn't feel 71, I have two jackets on. That isn't 71. Then again, I didn't feel hey, good yesterday. I had a sore throat. Like pyramid shape. That's cool. Now, the reason I'm stopped over here for a moment, every morning I wake up. Now, like today, I woke up at 540. And I came out to have a cigarette. I keep seeing, every morning, a white and black cat over here by these rocks right here. And I am thinking that perhaps, like somewhere back here, Maybe there is feral cats, which is possible. And now I know why Oreo loves to constantly look out the window. Ronnie and I seen a gray one last night, or a dark color, look gray. So there's cats, I think, living in these woods. Now that looks like a ditch right here, Ron. It is. Now see, it stops up here. Yeah, it's, it's like walk, if you will. Yeah. But keep going straight. There's some wood cut down over there. Flowers, off to your right, like yellow flowers. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones I found further in, but it was just five of them in one single thing. I see them, Someone yeah. Someone came through these woods and planted flowers at various spots, I think. I see them. Keep following me. Huh.
for everybody wondering, I only run these woods yesterday, so it's fine. Lost nest. No. Or red carpet. Yeah, that is true. For anyone from Hazleton, you know the red carpet as Ramada and Red Roof as Janetti's Best Western. Uh, they used to have local bands from Pennsylvania play at the ballroom a lot. I went to a couple of shows there, good food, good band, um, was a very popular spot to go to on a weekend if there was nothing really going on in a, any of the local bars. This is definitely a trail that quads go on, you can tell. Probably a lot of fun. I enjoy quad quad rides myself. A lot of fun. I know my mother absolutely went crazy a couple of years back when I told her I had been riding quads in Freeland with a friend for about three, four months. And she said to me, you're crazy. I said, why? I said, it was so much fun. You could die in them. I said you could go out your door and die. Which is true. You could look both ways, no cars, and then something come from nowhere okay, and bam. Okay, so question. I've not gone down that way. I have not gone down that way. I've only ever gone up and both ways up. That's it. So. Ah, so you don't know. Yeah. Let's go on the road and never take it. Okay, let's go right. Ozzy Osbourne, the road to nowhere leads to me. Oh, the road to nowhere. nowhere. Me go pee. Hey now, you make a fun of the Oz man. Shame on you. It's a Nikon in my generation. A Hellraiser. I'm just saying. He was definitely an original of my generation. Ozzy Osbourne. And he definitely hopped on that crazy train and did not want to get off. <laughs> no, I like Ozzy Osbourne. I like his music, huh? I don't like the way it's folded up. Dear God, there could be a body in there. Not if somebody was chopped up. Oh God, now I'm freaking, there's a coat. And I just don't like the way the coat is positioned as if there's something in it. I say let's just get the hell out of here. Yeah, I don't want to go near it. I don't like the way it's laying there like something's in it. Girl, you know there could be somebody's body parts in there. Or a dead animal. Oh, that's great. Especially by our I would not mess with that, seriously. I'd, no, I'm not I either. just did not like the way it's laying Hold there it. as if something is in it sleeping with its arm on one side. That is what completely weirded me out. Because at first glance, it looks like there's someone sleeping on the ground by that rock. 
Maybe someone homeless is living here. But that looks like a kid's coat. Yeah. That doesn't look like an adult's coat. Someone's bag of beer boxes and garbage. Yeah, I don't like that. I just got a very creepy vibe from that, from that coat. Do you see that in the distance? Stand oh. where I'm standing. Look straight ahead. Stand where I'm standing. Right where I'm standing. Look. Look straight ahead. Is that like a building? I, I don't know what that is. I can't. Let me try to zoom in on it. No, I mean like the black object that just looks like it's sticking on the ground there. Yeah, in front of that brick house or whatever it is back there. No, that's part of the ground. I don't know where you see bricks. I see something, it looks like brick or something way ahead. The criminal side mind of me always says it's a dead body. Because let's be honest, there, there is a lot of sickos and sickos do dump bodies and body parts in wood. So, you know, you just never know. This, I think, is runoff for this hotel. The complex. Oh, medical complex, that's right here. Oh, the complex, yeah. Um, so these woods are ending Red Roof, and we're coming on to the side of the medical complex. And that right there is, wait, did we pass Rick Harpet? Yeah, right there, oh. that building, I said the back building right there. Okay, yeah, red carpet is back there. That's the other hotel. So this is the path. Um, there's the Dollar General right there by us. Yeah, there's the other Dollar General. That's actually one of the newer ones that was built like within the past two years. <laughs> actually a bit of a weird location because people forget it's there. Um, yeah, do kind of question that location. So we're going, going back, not touching whatever is in that black coat. I think somebody, interesting thing, I said that coat looks dry. And it rained good. Saturday night into Sunday, it rained all day Sunday into Monday. Uh, today it drizzled a little bit. So if that was laying there for several days, that should be soaking wet. That looks dry. So that was just placed there. Ronnie said there was a few flies around it, which could indicate a dead animal, but who would wrap a dead animal up in a coat? God forbid, a child? I hate to think of weird, sick things, but I mean, come on. It's a sick world. <laughs> and I was able to lift the one end up and it looked like there was a bunch of moss and whatnot in the bottom. And again, who would put that in a coat? I couldn't tell if it was moss or if it was something wrapped in a carpet. That's exactly what I mean. He poked it and he said there is something in there. It's like you poke the coat and you can feel resistance. So, at first I saw in a cigar when I glanced, it looked like somebody small sleeping by a rock and I thought a child. That was my thought. Not going to look, we're just going to walk right past it. I said I'd... No. Got enough problems. I don't need to get myself into discovering something like that, right? Right. That would be our luck and that's all we don't need. Because then, God forbid, <coughs> <coughs> there'd be some flake after us for having found it. Eh, no thank you. Someone dumping garbage and stuff. Very irritating. As you could see, tires. I do want to see where straight takes us though, just going that way. Okay. Because I know, like I said, I only went straight up the embankment and didn't go down or yeah. straight that way. Maybe it's good I didn't come down this way yesterday. Well, like I said, I see a cat come out of these woods. Two or three of them actually. Uh, and I'm thinking that they 
live somewhere here. I don't know where they would have shelter, but... Must be some little spot they go. Because they come out for wood. Yeah, wood. They come out of the woods and they... God, I can't even talk today. They, uh... They come out for wood. Yeah, they come out for wood. Right, because they're beavers. They want to whittle wood. No. Ah, uh, they come out looking for food. And... That's the coat. Maybe, yeah. That's the coat. I don't want to be bothered with it. Keep walking. I get a very scary vibe from it. Just keep walking. I don't want to know. Not something I expected to see. And I don't want to see. And I don't want to know. Right, guys? What would you do if you were walking in the woods and you found a coat? I would be having a blast riding through that on a, on an uh, ATV. I really would. I would be having a blast being on a quad doing that. Old clothes. The fun of getting wet like that. Old boots on and everything and just going yeehaw. All right. Ronnie found a way. Does he not always find a way? All right. Let's see here. What adventures my son taking me on here? Here, wait, before you do anything, let me take the camera. Let me take your camera. I'm okay. Okay, if you want to take it, all right, I'll give it to you. That was doable. That wasn't too bad. Ronnie took the camera. I admit I'm out of shape and haven't stretched and jumped like that in quite a while, but no time like the present to... Get back into it, right? Yay, sun is coming out. Finally. Yeah, there's the slabs I was talking about. Return the slab. Or suffer my suffer curse. My curse. Yeah, this is mostly a swamp back here. Swamp area. And the highway. Road's right there. The road's also there, but this goes up for some reason. Oh, the road. I'm not that adventurous today. The road to nowhere leads to me. You got to, got to be to me. <laughs> Look at this. There's grass trying to grow. And like little squirts there. Oh, the road to nowhere. And it goes right to the end of the guardrail, so if you think about it, it is a road to nowhere. Huh. Could take you right to a guardrail. The road to nowhere. Road to nowhere. I like that song by Ozzy Osbourne too. To well, and this is Milnesville. Milnesville. Oh, Milnesville. A little patch town. See if I can get the sign in for for you. Uh, if you can read it, welcome to Milnesville, a little patch town. These are the kind of towns that are having ads in Facebook Marketplace. They're also the kind of towns that you need a car because they don't have bus service. And they're good if you don't go anywhere. Or if you have somebody you can always call for a ride. But aside from that, no. You need a uh, car to go shopping, to go to the doctors, and buses just don't run in a lot of these little towns. So that's why a lot of them I have to just pass on. Because some of them I don't even know where they are. Holy Pennsylvania, I never heard of it. Dalton, Pennsylvania, where the hell did that come from? A lot of these towns are like, where is that even on a map? 
So they may have a cheap apartment, but damn, if I don't even know where a town is, ah, uh, that's crazy. Is that, really good trail? that looks like a path to me. It looks like a path, but for some weird reason, it looks like trees were put down. Yeah, but they're not walking. Yeah, but it just seems weird that they're in that order. We are in the woods, in back. Not exactly in back, but sort of behind where we're staying. They're working on tearing up more woods. We're thinking maybe they're going to add on more to the hotel eventually. And we found these rocks. I didn't even know they were back here, to be quite honest. It's like a giant rock wall. And there's like a big rock wall right there. And I am not in any way familiar with that. Uh, I never ever seen that before. And this is quite... Well, there's a house right there. So this quite interesting. Very interesting. Didn't expect to see something like that. Probably not. That might be part of someone's yard. That one right there. Little hole. Woodpeckers. There's a little woodpecker house. Look at this hole. You don't tell me a woodpecker yep. did that. Yes. No way. Yep. Termites also, because this is all from one tree. All that right there. A woodpecker did that. It had yep. to take years to do that. Yep. <laughs> well, they are persistent little birds. Yeah, we're back now from um, our walk. And uh, was interesting, kind of creepy, um, finding that, that coat that had something in it, really weird. And then, uh, kind of creepier yet, seeing that, uh, black truck, like, riding around and circling the building, and we didn't know who it was. Because it's been, like, pretty quiet around here. And I thought, okay, this is really, really kind of weird. Well, weirder yet, I'm gonna nonchalantly, um, uh, turn around and you'll see the truck is parked almost right by our door and um, I guess the guy went to someone upstairs because um, he was walking around trying to figure out how to get upstairs really kind of creeped me out a little bit so uh, that was it for a little walk in the woods good exercise though um, so if you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Take care, everyone. Be safe and I will see you all on my next one. Bye.